sharks were known for being polite enough to give a warning to anyone who would appreciate one, because it didn't matter how much warning they gave, they always won in the end. But this time, maybe we could save the world and stop the bed sharks. There were ancient texts, old legends, that spoke of four beings powerful enough to defeat them. There was King Pelinath the fifth, leader of the bed realm, ruler of the bed elephants, a thousand years old and still as strong and powerful as ever. Well, at least he was in 2500 BC, where at the conquest of Mazdor, he led his army against the bed sharks and was victorious. Then there was Dishinishi, a strange and mysterious two-headed alien creature who was said to have withstood Shaggy Roger's gaze and destroyed him with a single rendition of the bed shark apocalypse prophecy. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any record of the prophecy, so when I find Dishinishi, I'd better ask him what it is, just in case it's important. Next up is Jeff Winger, a skeletal creature most famous for eating his breakfast cornflakes with sarsaparilla, and pouring the sarsaparilla in first. Also, he stopped a few cataclysmic events, threw a volcano into space before it could explode and destroy a couple cities. Don't ask me how that worked, I'm just reading the legends. Finally, we have Zaza the Zapper, a snail with laser beam eyes, who was the real discoverer of penicillin. The good thing about Zaza is there are some actual clues as to his whereabouts. I'd never felt so uncertain, so afraid. I'd never really had a chance to be brave. I'd never thought I would be the one to save anyone at all, but I saved you. I have just crash landed. I, in my Spitfire, which is strangely uh, stuck on the metal pole there. <laughs> now here we are, we've reached the end of the line. And now let go of my hand. I'm going in for the kill, I'm doing it for a thrill, I'm hoping you'd understand, and not let go of my hand. I'm going in for the kill, I'm doing it for a thrill, I'm hoping you'd understand, and not let go of my hand. We had just gotten to New Zealand, but now my brother was insisting we had made a mistake. We were meant to go to Antarctica instead, so off we went, in hopes of finding Zaza. Jeff. What is it? So we said goodbye to our huskies and headed off back to New Zealand. Antarctica had been a dead end, but hopefully we would find Zaza eventually. Giant flowers. Could this be the end of the world? And here I think we found another clue. The desert shall rejoice. 
and blossom as the rose. What do you think this means, Connell? Uh, uh, <laughs> end of the world. It must be. Go. 
Folks, we both know I'm the taste on your tongue, the taste you can't spit out. Please come home again. Let me show you we're good enough for your love. What have you done? What is it ever enough to be seen in my eyes? Tell me the truth. Where do you have left love to be seen in my eyes as a fool down on his knees? When the kingdom has lost its king, who's left to leave? Tell me who's left to leave. I'm going in, swimming with the dolphins, Chris, because the dolphins seem to have disappeared. They won't tell us why, but we can pretty much assume it's the bed shop. <laughs> Really need to do something about this. As you can see, things aren't turning out particularly well. I mean, <laughs> Jeff was meant to be protecting us and he was attacking us, so things have certainly gotten a lot stranger than I thought they would. Um, but we'll find Zaza and Things will turn out right. We can still save the earth from the bed sharks. They come and creep in from the corner. And all I know is that I don't feel safe. I feel the tapping on my shoulder. I turn around in an alarming state. But am I losing my mind? I really think so. Not a creature inside, but what you don't know is that my breathing gets faster, and so does my heart beat. I wish this was over, I wish that this was a dream, but I created a monster, a hell within my head, nowhere to go, I'm out on my own, oh, I'm so scared. I created a monster, a beast inside my brain, nowhere to go, I'm not on my own, my mind impaired, to wake me from my nightmare. Wait, something doesn't feel right. No, something seems wrong. And I've been feeling this way for far too long. 
as my vision gets blurred my skin's getting colder appearing young while i'm growing older i collapse to the floor and scream can anybody save me from myself i created a monster a hell within my head nowhere to go i'm out on my own oh i'm so scared i created a monster a beast inside my brain nowhere to go i'm not on my own my mind's impaired to wake me from my nightmare Walk into the latch, I find myself looking down, frozen with fear. Now I'm plunging to the ground. If only I knew how to fly, then I could convince myself this isn't my time to die. Instead, I'm rocketing faster and faster. I die, fall to the floor. And when my body crashes to the pavement, I'm right back where I was before. I created a monster, a hell within my head. Nowhere to go, I'm out on my own. Oh, I'm so scared. No, no. I created a monster, a beast inside my brain. Nowhere to go, I'm not on my own. My mind impaired to wake me from my nightmare. I'm so scared. Awake me from my nightmare. I'm so scared. Awake me from my nightmare. I'm so scared. Awake me from my nightmare. I can't quite contain or explain my evil ways or explain why I'm not sane. All I can say is this is your warning. I can't quite contain or explain my evil ways or explain why i'm not sane all i can say is this is your warning duality i have a confession that you would not believe that you could not perceive this freak gonna set it off i have a confession of a side that i hide it's a cloak or a disguise unleashed gonna get it off no i'll never get away cause if i try to stray it only holds me closer no i'll never get away i'll have it anyway i'll never stop don't get wet, bro.